What's up, everyone? My name's Bree Sorensen, and for today's Motivation Monday segment, we have the one and only USSA Pride player, Shelby Penley. Shelby, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Great, great. Thank you. Now, Shelby, you wear many hats. You're going into your ninth season for the Pride, but you're also the assistant coach for Belhaven University, played pro for Athletes Unlimited, played overseas in Japan. You played college ball at Oklahoma. We're excited to seek your advice today because you have done it all. First question, what's your biggest piece of advice for young athletes who want to play in college and maybe even the pros one day? Um, I think my biggest piece of advice is just make sure that is something that you want to do at that level, um, first and foremost. And if you have any hesitation and um, you don't know if you want to put all the work in and all the extra hours and miss out on maybe family functions or spend the night at a friend's house, then maybe you should take a step back and look if that's something you really want to do. And if it is, then you're going to have to work hard. Um, you're going to have to miss out on things and um, you're, you're just, it's going to be a grind. So I think just make sure it's something you do want to do for sure. What was the hardest part of that transition from high school to college and then eventually college to the pros? Um, I mean, any transition can be hard and difficult and scary. And I know, I know going from high school to college, it, it was scary um, at first because it's a big step in your life. And I think the hardest transition is every day you step on that field, um, you're playing the best of the best. Like it's tough, um, you're gonna fail. And same thing with the pros, like going from college to pro, if you're struggling um, and you're in a hitting funk and you're trying to come out of it facing extremely good pitching um, and that's tough mentally. So I think um, mentally you just have to be really strong and accept failure and learn from it and grow as an athlete at uh, the college level, the high school level. And um, as long as you grow and get better, uh, it's you can, continue to keep playing in my opinion like you said you're playing with the best of the best what's one way that a player can really differentiate themselves from other players um i mean at the high school level uh i think just actually at all levels um differentiating yourself from other players i think a big thing is being a good teammate um and working hard and if you can do those two things like you're going to be successful and what's one of your favorite drills that young athletes can do to improve their game? Um, I don't think I have a favorite drill, but I think that training, um, running, uh, agility stuff, uh, lifting stuff, getting stronger, sports specific stuff, I think that will separate your game from other athletes who don't do that. And I think it will um, make you a better athlete uh, make your body stronger, less injuries, that kind of thing. So I think the training aspect would be my favorite drill per se, because um, I don't necessarily have a favorite drill on the softball field kind of thing. Yeah, and like we talked about before, you're a coach as well. So how does a young player get a college coach's attention? Um, go, go to their camps. If there's a university that you really want to go to, uh, go to their camps, get seen at their camps and if you impress them, they're more than likely gonna probably come watch your games. So um, sending them emails, reminders of when they're playing, um, at what tournaments and their game times and making it easy for the college coach to write out a schedule of, okay, I'm going to this tournament, I'm gonna go watch this team, this team, this team at this time, whatever it is. And uh, But I do think camps are the easiest and um, best way to get a college coach's attention. Now you've been a student athlete, you're a coach with student athletes under you. What does it take to be a successful student athlete? Time management. Um, when you get to college, you're gonna have weights, you're gonna have class, you're gonna have study hall. Um, you're gonna have to turn assignments in on your own. Like you're not gonna have anyone sitting there telling you, hey, make sure you do your homework, make sure you do this. Uh, so I just think time management and um, Obviously working hard and putting the extra work in on the athlete side of it will make you a successful student athlete. Now back to putting your pro athlete hat on. What is the best part about playing in the pros? Uh, there's so many great things. I, I look at all the years and I think the biggest thing is uh, the friends that I've made and the relationships. And um, I think that's my favorite part of it. 
Last question, let's make it fun. What is your favorite all-time softball memory? Oh man, there's so many. Um, from winning a national championship to um, winning MVP of the championship series, I think in 2018 or 2019. And those big moments, obviously, uh, I'll cherish, but I do think I go back to the relationships that I've built with my teammates. And um, I love that the most out of all of those big moments. Um, it's just my friends. Absolutely. Well, no bad of doubt about it. You have one of the best overall resumes in softball, Shelby. Thank Ooh, you so much for being you. on this episode of Motivation Monday and good luck this upcoming season. Yeah, thank you.